Hello Year 9 and welcome to the BTEC Construction Options video. By the end of this video you should have a better understanding of what the course entails and what you'll be doing in Year 10 and in Year 11. Now throughout the course you're going to learn all about how bricks and blocks can be transformed into wonderful big houses, how areas of wasteland can be converted into tall buildings made of glass and steel, and also how bridges can span one area of land to another uh, withstanding its own weight and the weight of the traffic that travels on top of it. Now the construction course is a vocational course. It's worth the same as the GCSE, however you are assessed slightly different. In the GCSEs you'll study the course for two years and then you'll do an exam at the end, whereas in the BTEC construction course you will be assessed throughout the two years of the course. Now, the course has four units. Unit one, construction technology, that's the externally accessed unit, and that's assessed through an exam, which will last for 70 minutes. Units two, three, and four, they are assessed internally, and they're assessed through coursework. Now, the exam unit, unit one, uh, you will study a variety of different elements uh, of the construction uh, uh, construction industry. You will uh, learn all about the construction process from the designing of the building or the structure through to the completion of the structure. You learn about how the structure is built, what um, uh, building methods are used and also what materials used and why they are used. Unit 2 is all about construction and design. Now you'll learn about the construction industry and its impact on the community both at a local level and the national level. You'll also undertake uh, a piece of coursework where you actually have to design four different houses. Now these designs will either be a traditional method design or a contemporary modern design. Now the coursework that you will produce will be in the form of two and one point perspective drawings and you'll do four of these uh, and then after a consultation between uh, your teacher and yourself you will then produce one final design. Unit 3 is the scientific and mathematical element of the course and in this unit you'll be learning all about how science is involved in the construction industry and also how maths is involved as well. Now science you'll be looking at um, the forces that are impacting on a building um, how the building weight, the weight of the building itself and all the forces surrounding it, how that has an impact on the building and how the building itself actually responds to those and manages to stay standing. The maths element of it, you'll be doing um, mathematical, um, or solving mathematical problems that you already do in your maths lessons at the moment. So you'll be undertaking maths problems such as area, volume, you'll be looking at trigonometry, uh, and you'll be looking at some equations in there as well. Unit 4 is the Constructional Drawing Unit and this is where you actually learn how to produce architectural plans. Now you'll be learning how to do these both by hand and by using computer aided design. So your coursework that you'll have to produce is you will be given a design brief where you've got to design a house and you will do the drawings for these, the elevation drawings, the, the plans for these, uh, for the house, and you'll produce them by hand, and also you will do some of them um, on computer-aided design software as well. Now, where are your pathways once you complete the course in Year 11? Well, you have uh, two options. First option is you can go to college, and at college you can go to Furnish College where you can do the level 3 construction in the built environment or you can go on and you can do A levels as well. Also at Furnish College you can do bricklaying, painting and decorating, plastering, carpentry, you can also do some um, a course on electricity but there's many options out there for you. You can also go into the workplace now that's either once you finish school or once you've done um, a course at college and there are a number of careers that you can go into. Careers um, in the largest industry in the United Kingdom and these careers are such, such as architecture, you could be a building surveyor, quantity surveyor, you could be a builder, you can go into a trade such as bricklaying, uh, 
joinery, you can be a plasterer, you can be an electrician um, and you can also go into the material supply industry as well. So the options out there are limitless of what you can do with uh, a construction qualification. Now hopefully this has answered a lot of your questions. Um, if not, you can catch me around school either at my office or in the technology department and I'll talk through any issues that you have or any questions that you have.